When I heard that Taraji was in it, I was just kind of like, I posted about on Instagram, meeting her one day. So when I heard that she was involved, and I was like, this is like the universe being like, let me hook you up. Um, and then the script was like really, really funny and good. And I liked that there was a really strong like female empowerment dynamic. I felt like it wasn't just about like chasing some guy. Like it was really about fully like fledged and rounded characters. So I really, really liked that. And it was funny too. Right now, we're in a great time in Hollywood. Yes, there's like hashtag me too and everything, but it's so rare that you'll, there's a movie, like a romantic comedy that's starring a woman of color. And, you know, she also has friends who are women of color who are also looking for love too. You don't see that a lot. And so it was really cool, I think, for a lot of people to say, we want her to be the star of this and to have it be from her point of view and follow that because black women date. We date a lot. We have fun, we have friends. I think sometimes film and TV can make it seem like we don't have any friends or all we do is work or there's like no dimensions to our life. And I feel like this movie really just like shows there's so many layers to what it means to be a woman and a woman of color and a woman who's dating. The four of us, me, Taraji, Wendy, and Tamala, like I think our characters represent like a lot of female friendship groups where you, you know, you have different things going on in your lives, you're pulling in a million different directions, but you might have your, whether it's Margarita Mondays like in the movie or like that crazy like, uh, you know, text message that you guys do for months or like whether you go on vacations to Jamaica every like year or whatever, it, this movie really captures that element of like your female friendships matter so much and they're just as important as your romantic relationships. And I really think the movie wants to show that like your girls matter and your girls Girls are always going to be there for you, no matter what. No matter what men come in your life and go in your life, we got your back. Sierra is, you know, she's a little bit of a free spirit. She likes to have fun. She likes to drink. She likes to party. And she's very much like just embraces life and like sexually free and stuff. And so I think, you know, I kind of come in as just kind of a little bit younger than everyone else. A little bit of kind of a, I don't want to say like a spitfire, but just kind of like, Okay, she's gonna say that ratchet thing. It's okay, we love her. She's our friend who gets a little crazy and uh, it's been a lot of fun playing her. Ali is just kind of like that, like badass woman who, you know, has worked her way up. She didn't like get anything handed to her. Like she just really worked hard and has achieved a lot in her life and she's successful and she's confident and she's funny. And, you know, she's also vulnerable. I think it really shows so many different sides that powerful women have in their lives. And, but she's also like, you know, I wanna have time for my girlfriends. I wanna have time to date too. So she wants to have a full life. She's not only just, you know, beholden to her work. She wants to have a nice, like, lovely life that she can look back on when she's 90 and be like, I did that, I did that, I did him, and all that stuff. Taraji is, you know, we've all like watched her in Empire, Baby Boy, you know, countless movies and TV shows. And she always has that like twinkle in her eye that kind of like, I'm a little bit fun, I'm about my business, but I can also like cut up and like be silly too. And I think, you know, in a lot of ways she's like aspirational and like makes you feel like, oh, I can accomplish these things too. I can be true to myself. Like she's not trying to be anyone else. She's not trying to sound like anyone else. And I think her character is like that too. So it feels like a perfect marriage that she's in the role of Ali. And I think audiences are going to watch and be like, okay, I'm going to steal that tip from her. That's cool. I want to put that into my life. Basically, what men want is Taraji's character, you know, ends up through a freak accident, starts to hear the thoughts of men all around her, and, you know, that helps her a little bit, but it also hurts her. Hilarity ensues. There's a lot of, like, screaming and funny stuff that happens in Hot Men. So stay for the Hot Men. Come for the amazing ladies. Stay for the Hot Men. So I've been a huge fan of Adams, like forever. Like I watched Bring It Down the House, everything, Rock of Ages. So I'm a huge, huge fan of his. And I think he is, he does a really good job of being like, hey, let's like kind of stick to the script for one take, but then like have fun. So there's a lot of freedom. And I think because all four of us ladies are really funny and we improvise, I think it makes us feel comfortable that we can sort of play as, instead of just being like, I have to be a Roma and deliver this joke this way. So I, I really like Adam and um, we'll just like text each other about like different things we should be watching on Netflix. So it feels really nice that we'll like talk about that kind of stuff.
this movie is kind of like, because it is so diverse, you'll have like Shaquille O'Neal in one scene, and then, you know, you'll have Taraji in another scene. Like, it really feels like this is sort of like Hall of Fame level, but like still really fun. Like, no one's mean, no one's walking on eggshells, just kind of like, oh, everyone's cool. Like, Tracy's amazing and funny and just cracks me up. And I just go like, hi, I'm Phoebe. I just sit back and like watch him. Like, it's like a movie within a movie for me. Um, so it's been really, really cool. So I'm just like pinching myself. Nothing too hard because I don't leave a mark, but I'm pinching myself to be like, I'm so happy I'm in this movie. I think the audiences are gonna love how authentic this movie feels. And like, I think the laughs are like genuine, like funny laughs. And it's just not like, oh, I've seen this joke a million times, so I guess I'll just chuckle. Like, it, it's rooted in the characters. And I think at the end of the day, like any movie that's really fun and great, you wanna care about the characters the most. So like the, the conceit of like hearing the thoughts, like that's gonna hook you in. But then like the dynamic that Taraji has with her girlfriends is great. The dynamic she has with, Al, um, with uh, her love interests are great. So I think there's all these like different levels that people are gonna like identify with and feel really happy about. Every character in the movie, you know, whether it's like Taraji's like love interest, Will, and it's not just like the sort of like stand in, like whatever kind of guy, like he has his own life. He's a father. He's a good father. He's a really sweet, like kind of guy you actually want to date in real life. And, you know, everyone is just like so like complex and unique. And like, even though my character is like a little silly and crazy out there, there's still moments where she's like, this is a married woman who really does care about her marriage a lot and like is involved with her husband been in a real intimate way. So I think that, that when the audience watches, they'll be like, oh, this person reminds me of this person, this person reminds me of my cousin, this person reminds me of me, and I think that's really cool. I think I would want to read Tracy's mind because he is so funny and goes off on so many tangents and it's so stream of consciousness. And I feel like there's so many funny things that are locked up in his brain that he can't get out because he's already saying so much funny stuff. So I wanna hear all the funny stuff that's backed up in there. <laughs>